Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Wednesday, the 17th of April. Following Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, the section that we use in the middle of the day, he has us reading Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and 1 Timothy chapter 6. And there's a, a, a link of ideas in the, um, two of the, in the two chapters. In Ecclesiastes, the writer says in verse 4, I saw that all toil and all achievement spring from one person's envy of another. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Fools fold their hands and ruin themselves. Better one handful with tranquility than two handfuls with toil and chasing after the wind. And so saying essentially, uh, don't be a fool and do nothing, <laughs> because then you ruin yourself. But be satisfied with one handful, that's all you need. Uh, don't chase after more than that because that's meaningless, that, that's pointless. <laughs> it's not that you are, feel better if you've got more stuff. Very often if you've got more stuff, you want even more stuff because <laughs> there's more stuff to be had. We need to discover contentment, being able to sit back and say, one handful is sufficient. And it's an idea that Paul picks up in uh, his letter to Timothy, where he says that some people of corrupt mind, uh, they've distorted the truth, and they say they think that godliness is a means to financial gain. So clearly he's saying that, that this isn't true. You don't, uh, godliness isn't a means to get rich on earth. That's not the point. And he continues in verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Again saying it, it's pointless chasing uh, uh, excess wealth because you you take nothing with you it's your godliness only that goes with you and, and your faith <laughs> that, that, that takes you into eternity everything else we leave behind and so we need to be content with what we've got godliness he says with contentment is great gain to to be on earth and to say god has blessed us with what we have we will do what we can but we're not going to pursue it we're not going to chase after wealth We'll, we'll work well, we'll, we'll be diligent, we will be responsible, we will be uh, all those things that, that the scriptures encourage us to be. And as you do that, you end up sort of God uh, blesses that and it's a, the kind of style and ethic and, and work that, that does bring about gain. But that's not the point. The point is uh, we're doing that because that's what God calls us to do. And our contentment and our, our great uh, hope is in eternity. So everything else we have, we leave behind. So we're not going to chase it. Um, we'll accept what God gives us. We will share with, <laughs> with others. We will be generous. We will uh, live according to the scriptures. But we're not going to be chasing after more and more stuff because the, the, uh, Solomon says in Ecclesiastes, all of that chase is a chasing after the wind. Um, let's not waste our time. And so uh, an encouragement to to be thankful for what God has given us, to be generous with what God has given us, to, and to be content. Say, thank you, God, that this is what I have, and I will be looking to, to godliness, to eternity, to faith, because that's where the true riches, true wealth is, is in heaven. Be blessed.